Good evening. Good evening, Miss Almond and everybody. Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? I am fine. Great. I but really I like you. your blouse. Thank you. Let me go ahead and um, turn on my camera. I'm doing awesome. Thank you for asking me, Daniel. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the class. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Welcome. Daniel, I really like your uh, tie dye. Like the tie dye like the t shirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. It's artisanal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, shirts. I don't know what is the name of the chemical material that it's you a see. Tie -dye. You see. What? A tie dye. Tie and then tie dye. dye. Uh huh. Tie, tie dye. dye. It's a tie mm. dye t shirt. Tie dye. Okay. Uh, tie like tie and then <laughs> dye. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. Tie dye Let, t shirt. <laughs> Let's check the design. <laughs> yeah, did you do it? That's <laughs> awesome. Did you do it? Yes. It's comfortable. It's comfortable, uh, yes. For few, yes, for few relaxes at home. Yes. yes. I remember oh, that when you. I was, um, oh my God, uh, when I was studying uh, fashion design, I, uh, well, we, we had this type of technique, the tie-dye technique, and, my teacher at that time taught uh, taught us about how to do the tie dye style. So it was awesome. We created many t-shirts with my friends and my oh, and my classmates. Uh huh. A lot of designs about how to dye and and how to dye tie and dye. So it was great. It was a great Thank experience, you. and I miss it. Yes. Okay, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. So thank welcome you. to the class, guys. We will start right now the class. Thank you for joining on time. And let's see. All right, I believe we will start right now. Let me just make sure that I got the attendance list ready. I believe I closed the window. Oh my God, what did I did? Yes. I closed it. Yeah. 
Guys, are you okay with the midterm exams and also with the activities about the unit number two? Were you able to complete them all? No? Yes. I have a problem. I have a problem with the with one with one question. Mm -hmm. with scramble, I don't know. Scramble sentence. Scramble sentence. Scramble sentence. Yes, let me check. All right, perfect. Okay, with the number four. Number four, that's mm -hmm. all the words, the four sentences. Uh, say, great study will be a broad in opportunity to uh, but a made in different form to, uh, to organize, but anyone works. Any of the any of those one work. And the number one in the midterm exam. The number the number one is okay. But Sorry, the number, the number four, right? Four, number four. four. Yeah. And that is in the in the midterm or in the homework. In the midterm. In the midterm. Yeah, let, let me check the triplet of the. Could you please send us a, a picture about that? Okay. Or a scrimshot? You have it? I already sent. Let's see. One moment. One second. It's mandatory to write in an application for uh, number four, sorry, set a rubble B. Mm. Ya intento, it would be a great opportunity to study abroad. No yet, but I let's try it. Uh -huh. It will be a great opportunity to study abroad. I wore I write first after that I pass, but it will be let me let me do it. Yes, I believe that one will work. Okay, guys, so thank you and welcome to the class. We will start the class. We are just resolving one exercise with Daniel, but other than that, uh, we will start the class, okay? How are you today, guys? Hi, Jessica. Hi, Jonathan. Jonathan, I'm still waiting for your activities. Hi, yes. Sorina. Hi, Marina. Sorry. Sorry, excuse me. It will be a great opportunity to study abroad, you say. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, it's the first that I wrote, but doesn't work for me. Doesn't work? 
No. Did you try with a period or with no period? No what? Period at the end? Okay. El punto? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I have it. So. Let me see. Okay. It will be a great of ah, let me check. <laughs> I I ate a letter P. Opportunity. Uh, opportunity to study abroad. Mm -hmm. It will be a great opportunity to study abroad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me check. That's good. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, right. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so very good, Daniel. So guys, we will start then with the class. Let me um, share the screen. Today, guys, we will start with another topic and this is a most, most likely a discussion topic, all right? The topic for today is human resources vocabulary, all right? We got the class number 11. This is the class number 11. So, first of all, before to start with this topic, guys, I will ask you to go ahead and have a vocabulary practice first about the unit number two, okay? Let's work in groups of three, write down as many words we have learned last unit and share re your responses with the whole class. Guys, acordémonos de todo el vocabulario que aprendimos en la unidad número dos. Eh, no sé si se recuerdan la última vez que hicimos este ejercicio. Vamos a poner el, 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 um, el vocabulario, la palabra, la definición en inglés y qué es, ¿verdad? ¿Qué, ¿Cuál es el, el rol que desempeña Dentro del lenguaje, ya sea eh, un nombre, un verbo, está funcionando como adverbio, como adjetivo, etc. All right? So, let's do this in groups of three and then share the responses. Remember that this vocabulary should be the, from the one that you studied already. El vocabulario que usted ya estudió, ese es el que vamos a, 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 a practicar ahorita. All right. Any questions so far, guys? Questions? No questions. Do the good. Okay, I will make the breakout rooms para que empecemos a hacer ese brainstorming de ideas, guys. Donde nosotros vamos a compartir las definiciones que usted aprendió a lo largo del Ok, a lo largo del, uh, de la unidad número dos, las, las nuevas palabras que aprendieron, ok. Lizette, right? All right. So we have Sabrina, Jaime, and Lizette, listeners today. Me dejan saber si usted es listener, guys, guys please. Okay, let me open the breaker rooms. Ezekiel, are you a listener today? Are you better? I feel better. That I think I can great. practice. Thank you. Very good. Nice to know that you are better. All right, okay. let's see. Yes, Jonathan? I'm listening now. Sorry. Okay. okay, great. No worries, Jonathan. Okay, I will um, assign to you to the groups. Teacher, I'm listening too. Okay, thank you. Hello, teacher. I am listening right now. Come on, guys, what's going on? Tengo muchos listeners ahora. <laughs> a lot of listeners. Thank you. Thank you, Christian. Okay, let me see. I'm joined. I'm assigning you to the groups, guys. Click on join, please. 
So it's the vocabulary to work now. Yes, we will work with the vocabulary right now. Let me see. Okay, so just to reconfirm, we have Luis. Um, Jaime, Lisette, Jonathan, Fatima, um, Christian. Daniel Sikel, okay. Fatima, Jaime, Jonathan. Guys, como son listeners, los estoy asignando a los grupos para que se queden de oyentes. So please click and join para que estén de oyente, guys. Click on join, please. I know you are listeners, but let's go ahead and practice on the breaker room, but uh, observing your classmates, okay? Let's observe your classmates. Luis, Kenny, click and join, please. Uh, Jonathan. Kenny, 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 your partner is waiting for you. Mm. Kenny, please do me a favor and join. Click on join. Hello. For example, in the chat, who is sketch to, I don't know, uh, teacher, the you pronunciation. Know what we're going <laughs> Teacher is here. Teacher, help me, please. Yes, guys, uh, girls, we will go ahead and uh, write down the words that you learn in this course. I mean, in the in the last unit, like you said, reschedule. Reschedule is a word, but what is the definition of reschedule and what it is? Is it a verb? Is it a noun? Is it uh -huh. an adjective, an adverb? So try to list, make a list of the words that you learn in this course. I mean, in this unit, unit number two. All the words with the definition and the part of the speech. Part of the speech means if it is a subject, if it is a noun, adjective, etc. All right. Okay. As the many words as you can. Definition in English. That's right. right. In English. Uh huh. Um, meaning, significado de in, in Spanish. No, just the word. And then the definition and the part of okay. the speech. Mm -hmm. But sorry, in the part speech, I don't know. I, I don't understand. You. The part of the speech is uh, whenever you know if it is a, whenever you let us know if it is a noun, if it is a verb in parentheses. I will okay. show it to you an example. Let's say. Special. <laughs> Let me send this to you case, a schedule. Sorry, um, an example. Okay. Give me just a moment. Ahorita se lo mando un ejemplo de cómo pueden hacerlo.
teacher, I have a question. With my activities, um, is complete? Let me see. Allow me just a moment. Okay. I believe they are complete, but let me make sure. Okay, I sent to you an example of how you can do it, all right? I send it to you in the chat and I will what send it to you in the um, WhatsApp Zoom chat and WhatsApp uh, chat. I will send it to you in the WhatsApp chat right uh, now. Okay, okay. Rescue. What is the pronunciation? Rescue. Rescheduled. 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 Okay. Rescheduled. Right. Sorry, rescheduled. It's not with the ED. Rescheduled. 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 Change the time of a plane event. Example. The, oh, okay. Uh, one example for. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. And uh, let's see, Jennifer, let's see if you get everything completed. With my activities in the in days. Yes, you have <laughs> already day? completed. Sorry to interrupt. You have already completed a homework number two, three, and midterm exam. You're okay. good. Mm -hmm. Last night I feel asleep. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, oh. the last uh, list, la, que pasó, the, yeah. the attendance list, mm -hmm. ah, okay, <laughs> don't worry, it's fine, thank you, okay. thank you for letting me know. Thank you, teacher, okay, thank you. Guys. You're welcome, I get it. I let's get continue it. practicing, okay? Thank you. Según lo planeado, the, con the concert has been rescheduled for September. The concert. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The. Uh, ah, uh -huh. de. Sí, eh, de, uh -huh. sí, pues como... Aquí está la teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, guys. How are you? Hi, teacher. Uh, the only um, talk about the yesterday class. No, talk about new vocabulary in the unit number two. Uh, in the WhatsApp group, I send it to you a vocabulary, uh, an example of how you can do it. I don't know if you know if you can see the example I send it to you in WhatsApp. Um, the schedule. Uh huh. Exactly. So you say the new word, for example, you say a new word, you say the definition in English, and then you put what is the part of the speech. If it is a verb, if it is a, a noun, an adverb, an adjective, so you can learn. So you give. Marcos, examples about definite, I mean, new vocabulary you learn in the unit number two, and Amilcar gives you examples about new vocabulary that he learned in the unit number two. Mm -hmm. Va a intercambiar vocabulario de lo que ustedes aprendieron en la unidad número dos. Brindando eh, las definiciones en inglés y diciendo que parte del... del del habla es, ¿verdad? El lenguaje, perdón, si es adverbio, verbo, nombre o okay. qué, ¿sí? Como mm -hmm. el ejemplo que mandé en WhatsApp. Se so, van okay. a compartir las palabras que ustedes aprendieron. Usted se las va a compartir a él y él a usted. Teacher, it's that difficult. <laughs> no, it's not difficult. <laughs> yes. You can eh, do it, guys. I know you learn. <laughs> Pueden revisar el manual también. Ok. No se recuerda mucho. Sí. Ok. Está bien, teacher. Bueno, guys. Any question? Let me know, ok? Ok. Veré el manual, Amilcar. 
Sí, igual aquí lo, lo iba a ver. En el... I remember employing, employment. Este. Y, y, y uh, we create, create the sentences. You can Let's say see. an example. You can say an uh, example of the definition, but let's create the definition, the part of the speech, and the word that you learn. Okay. Marcos, welcome. Estamos practicando vocabulario ahorita de lo que aprendimos en la unidad número dos. Va a decir las palabras que usted aprendió, nuevo vocabulario en la unidad número dos, con su definición y va a decir qué parte del speech es, como el ejemplo que mandé en WhatsApp, ¿ok? Marcos. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. I believe eh, he didn't hear me. <laughs> eh. I le explican, please, cuando esté ready. Porque creo okay. que acaba de llegar del trabajo. Thank you, guys. Okay, teacher. It's Marcos 2. Two, two uh -huh. different. Two Marcos. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't understand you. You can spell other. Hello, guys. Okay. Hello. How are Hello, you? Hello, teacher. Are you okay? Fine. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Thank you. Repeat, please. Yes. Hello. Do, do you remember the the words? Is it I don't know. I think one of the oh, that word my love. Dani. I really know. Ah, bro. I need to. I I need to to recheck the. This document to, to if I need to have uh, new words, listen. I try, to, I understand clear. It's only a little bit word that I don't understand what is the mean. But, but if I have any new Okay, have you well, uh, learned English before? I don't understand you. Have you have you studied English before? That that this product. Ah, uh, in in Sephora, no, only in my in la tecnológica and. ITCA well, or university? <clears throat> university. Time expression are out here, then for from only until fulfill from size for yes. Um, I don't know, uh, uh, no sé si hay que escribir qué significa cada una, eso si no entendí. Yes, Julio. Uh, write down the definition of the word. What is the part of the speech? If it is a verb, if it is a subject, uh, sorry, if it is a verb, if it is a noun, an adjective, an adverb, I send it to you an example in WhatsApp. 
about you how you can do it in whatsapp how, the example? Uh, one example for work yes oh, no my God. i mean i send to you an example in whatsapp of how ah, okay. you can do it you can uh say the name of i mean say the definition what is the word what is the definition and what is the part of the speech for example reschedule okay i'm sharing with you reschedule guys reschedule is one of the words that i learned in this unit and it is a verb the meaning of the res of reschedule is change the time of a planned event an example the concert has been rescheduled for september okay I'm sharing with you one word that I learned in this unit number two. You can share more than one word, okay? The okay. purpose is to learn vocabulary. I'm learning from you, I'm learning from us, me. Yes? Got it? No? Uh, I can't in say in, in Spanish. <laughs> yes. Guys, Please. básicamente lo que vamos a hacer es aprender vocabulario. Por ejemplo, eh, Osvin nos va a compartir las palabras que él aprendió en la unidad número 2. Juntamente con la definición y la parte del lenguaje. ¿Cuál es la parte del lenguaje? Decir, por ejemplo, ok, reschedule es un verbo. Ok, o puedo decir apple es un noun, es un nombre. ¿Sí? Y luego les comparto la definición de cada palabra. Así como les leí la de Rizquecho. Y puedo dar un ejemplo. Entonces lo que están haciendo es que ustedes todos están compartiendo el vocabulario que usted aprendió. Si por ejemplo Osvin no se aprendió la palabra Rizquecho, ahorita que usted se la mencione se la va a aprender. Porque se están compartiendo nuevo vocabulario. ¿Yes? Yes. Ok. Any question you let me know, guys. Marielo Janet is not here. Is, is she participating with you guys? Yes. Teacher. No. Teacher. Yes. No. Entonces, eh, según lo que entiendo, es este. Por ejemplo, pongo schedule. Tengo que poner si es verbo o adjetivo. Exacto. Eh, luego, luego dar la definición y luego un ejemplo. Exacto, very good. De lo, del vocabulario y las palabras que usted ha aprendido en esta unidad. Ok. Ok, thank you. Welcome. Hi Jenny. Hi Jenny, no, me sola. Sí. De que no es tu partner. Sí, no están. Se salieron. Cristian creo que estaba el listener. Sí, de listener. Vale, la voy a mover a otro grupo para que ellos nos puedan ayudar. Ahorita la muevo. Pino y el presente. Sí, porque ahí se puede confundir, pero no, es el continuo. Sí, el continuo. Entonces, el concierto, ¿cómo tendría que ser? ¿De concert qué? Concert has very good yesterday o last month. No. Last month. But es okay. como que fue reprogramado en este momento. The concert has been rescheduled. Mm -hmm. Is the 
eh, aplicándole la regla de ayer nada más para septiembre. Me confunde. Hello, guys. De, 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 ¿Cómo vamos de, de, con el vocabulario? ¿Cuántas, han ¿Cuántas nuevas palabras han compartido cada uno? One teacher, only one. Oh. Ah, ok, no worries. Let's continue uh, sharing more words, ok? Pero, teacher, eh, de, yeah. de, for example, eh, for your example, is um, como confused. <laughs> ¿Verdad, teacher, que aquí es? El concierto se reprograma para septiembre. Is the present continuous? No, I mean, eh, el ejemplo que les estoy dando, guys, es solo un ejemplo de cómo pueden utilizar esta palabra en, 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 su, en alguna conversación o solamente es cómo pueden utilizar una palabra. En ah, realidad, okay. ustedes no lo van a hacer en un... En un que eh, en un tiempo en específico. Ustedes uh -huh. ya saben muchos tiempos o pueden eh, jugar con los tiempos. El propósito es compartir un ejemplo de la palabra que usted se está aprendiendo o la que usted les quiere compartir a sus compañeros. Lo que yo les mandé nada más es un ejemplo como ustedes pueden dar un ejemplo de la palabra. No sé si okay. me uh -huh. Yes, teacher. Ok, perfect, guys. For, for example, teacher, in, in this moment, uh, the, the verb is watch. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in the case, uh, one sentence for me, uh, he watches TV in the morning, in the afternoon, in the night. As he exactly. said, Very good. Yes. Okay. And then you say the definition of watch. What is watch? You say mm -hmm. the definition and you say, what is, it's a verb, it is a, it is a noun, it is a, um, a preposition, etc. Okay. This is the part of the speech. Mm -hmm. Ah, pues sí, vamos bien, no tan perdidos. Yes, perfect. <laughs> okay, Any you. question, let me know, guys, okay? Okay, For example, I can say, uh, she, she draw, she draw, the 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 picture for family ¿Cuál es el no cuál es el verbo o el, la palabra que se está que usted está compartiendo? Is draw. draw. Oh, yes. Okay, entonces usted va a decir, chicos, guys, I have a new word. My word is draw. Draw is a verb. Y ahora dice usted la definición. Ok, uh, le dice Fátima o Marina, Marcos, denos un ejemplo. Ah, y ahí usted da la oración. ¿Sí? Uh, Pero tiene que ser un vocabulario que usted se aprendió dentro de lo que es el, uh, eh, la unidad número dos. ¿Sí? Ok. All right. Uh, say Sayok. <laughs> we listen. <laughs> Everybody is smiling. Everybody is Hi, teacher. What is your favorite sitcom? Hello, guys. Thank Hello, you teacher. for asking me. Uh, well, my favorite sitcom. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm thinking about a sponge Bob. That is a good one. Sponge Bob is for fans. <laughs> That's one of my favorite my, my, ones. That's a sitcom. My daughter loves. Yes, it's a sitcom. sitcom. I and also, it's sitcom too? yes, it's a sitcom. What because, else? Uh, Ezekiel tell us that sitcoms is a TV show. A TV show. 
when you hear uh, the people loud? Yes, it's, it's like that. A sitcom is uh, like a com it's comedy. It's like a comedy. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, let's mm. see. It's a situation when when you can see comedy, like an epi episodic comedy. Let's see. Like it can be a television program. That's why it's um, Bob Square Pants. Oh my God, I, I always had a mistake with this one. A SpongeBob SquarePants, it's it's a television program and it's comedy, right? So it is a, like a yes. kind of a story, um, a story based on, you know, humorous or funny situations. Mm -hmm. That is a sitcom. And a series, a series is... Um, Let's say serious, serious. it's like a episodes that are connecting one another. It's Syria might be um, like um oh my god. Like the big man theory. The big bang is not funny in the big bang. I haven't watched the big bang theory, but it's yes. funny. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. funny? Oh, okay, <laughs> for okay. Me, friends, for a example. Little bit boring. Friends, I believe it's Friends. a sitcom. Friends, is, it's a sitcom. Friends, it's a sitcom. Yes. That's funny. Uh, let me give you another example. The Breaking Bad, that is, that is not funny, I believe. So that is a, that is a series. Series. Mr. Bean, for example, is a sitcom. Um, let's see. Ahorita no me acuerdo de ninguna, oh my God. My and, favorite is Rick and Morty, so this and, is not a sitcom. Uh huh, exactly, because it's, it's funny, a right? It's uh huh. Let's see another one. Oh my god, the I new have girl. Uh huh. A uh, Grey's Anatomy, The Walking Dead, those are serious. But no sitcom. Hmm? No sitcom. No, no sitcom. Sitcoms no, no are the ones crazy. that are humorous, like uh, mm -hmm. they are um, the office. <laughs> they, uh huh. The office, I believe. Uh huh. It's, it's funny, right? Yes. So basically, that is the difference between series and sitcom. So I I, I talk and, about that. Sorry, sitcom is como una comedia, right? Como una comedia. Y serie como. Serie es como una serie. Right? That's pretty much the difference. Eh, el, el sitcom puede ser una serie, pero con comedia. Entonces se convierte en sitcom. Yeah. It's my first time that I scared about this word. Sitcom. <laughs> Sound like a Bitcoin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sounds fun. <laughs> okay. Thank you for uh, yeah. sharing, guys. I'll be back in just one moment, okay? I'll be back. Uh, Thank you. Okay. Hello, guys. Hey. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Todo? ¿Cuántas palabras nos hemos aprendido? Two. Two? Okay. I believe we will go back to the main screen, guys. I mean, to the main break, to the main room. Okay. Hello, guys. Thank you for joining.
Is everyone here? I believe everyone is here already, right? No, mm -hmm. right now I will share, I will go through the attendance list, guys. Thank you for joining back. Let me go through the attendance before we continue with the discussion about new vocabulary, okay? So let's see, um, do me a favor and say present whenever you hear your name. And if you can, please turn on the camera for the attendance list, guys. Okay, so today it's uh, Tuesday, Tuesday the 28th, right, 2022. Okay, Angela Estefania Marroquín Martinez. Present. Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present teacher. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Present teacher. Estela Mabel Oriana del Cid. Present teacher. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present teacher. Jennifer Noemí Mata Aragón. Present teacher. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jonathan Alexi González Torres. Jonathan Alexis González Torres Julio César Merino González Present Julio César Ramírez Arevalo Present teacher Kenny Lizette Cuellar de Barrientos Kenny Lizette Cuellar de Barrientos Linda Magali García Montoya Linda Magali García Montoya. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Amilcar Mancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Present teacher. Osvin Alexa Alexis Flores Hernández. Present. Sabrina Lizette García Orellana. Present. Lizette del Carmen Hernández Mismit. Present. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present teacher. Thank you guys. Okay, perfect. So, uh, let me uh, continue sharing the screen, guys. All right. So I would like to ask you guys, how was the activity? Did you learn a lot of words? Did you learn some words? Let's see, I want to, I want to listen to some words. I would like to ask Marcos Antonio Milcar. Could you please tell me one word, new word that you learned? Hello, teacher. Uh, my new, my new bear is a, a, a draw. Which one? It's draw. Draw. Okay. Who told you the word? Uh, the the bear draw is a. a the answer is, is, is a drawing. <laughs> I don't know, remember this. Okay, but who shared with you that word? ¿Quién se la compartió? Cuénteme. ¿Quién, ¿quién, quién le compartió la palabra? Uh, it, I remember in my mind. <laughs> No, pero compártanos una palabra que alguien más le compartió, que usted aprendió esta noche en el Breaker Room. It's a other, other bird. O, o, other bird o, o el, ver, el verbo que yo aprendí, no. No, el verbo que usted, sí, perdón, el verbo que usted aprendió con sus compañeros ahorita que compartieron con sus compañeros con quién estaba perdón Marco 
Eh, a mí me a mí en eh, eh, mi Marina. Ah, ok. Mar Vaya, Marcos, compártanos una palabra que a Milker y Marina les ha, se las haya compartido. Por ejemplo, una nueva Mil palabra que aprendieron en la unidad número 2. A Milker es say a eh, um, fly. Ok. Eh, eh, Marina. And what is the definition of fly? What is fly? Uh, fly is a bird. Um, it's a bird. Perfect. Great. And what is the definition? Definition is uh, the airplane fly in the sky. Oh, that is the example. The airplane flies in the sky. Very good. And the definition? Definition is uh, um, in Spanish or English? In English. Ah, it's a uh, flu. Okay, what is the definition? Definition, I don't know, remember, teacher. Um, help me. Definition is a fly, 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 Marcos. <laughs> you didn't practice vocabulary with your classmate, or you don't remember the definition? I, I don't know, remember the definition. You don't because... remember, okay? Don't worry, Marcos. Choose another person that can help us with a new vocabulary today. Uh, in, in, in my group, no. No, anyone. Oh, okay, um, Sabrina. Sabrina is a listener today. Ay. Sorry. Ah. Okay, um, Mabel. Mabel, thank you. Okay, Mabel, could you please tell us one word that you learned today with your classmate? Yes, thank you. Um, thank you. Uh, what's the first time that I listen seldom? I right. never listened this word <laughs> uh, before. The um, I know the the meaning. It's okay. uh, like rarely. All right. Rarely, uh, and it's a uh, five percent to. Um, Security <laughs> in Is some for, in uh, some for, something I, I don't remember. <laughs> All right, and what part of the speech is it? Is it a noun, a verb, a preposition? What is it? Adverb. Adverb. Okay, perfect. I don't remember. Okay, could you give us an example, Mabel, about this? Um, ah, adverb. Okay. I. I seldom the movies, Mabel, the movies. <laughs> Very good. I seldom ah, eat pupusas. Thank you. Good I seldom job, watch Daniel. the movies. Uh -huh. That's what I like, guys. And that's what I like about breakout rooms because you remind or you recall the experience that you were um, sharing with your classmates. I remember you were talking about sitcom series. Very good, guys. Good job. Okay, perfect. <laughs> All right, Mabel. Thank you very okay. much. A round of applause for you. Mabel, Hello. choose another person, please, Thank so you. the other person can share with us new vocabulary. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fatima. Fatima is a listener today. Sorry. Oh, okay. Jennifer. Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Even though Jennifer at the end was alone, but I believe she was practicing at the beginning. Jennifer, are you here? Yes, teacher. Thank you, Jennifer. Could you please share with us a word that you learned with your classmate? Um, okay, my word is proficient. 
proficient. Very good. Okay. What proficient is proficient? And, uh, adjective. That is an adjective. Very good. Adjective. Sorry. That is an adjective. Proficient. Okay. And what is the uh -huh. meaning? That is sweet ball for a cent time job. Okay. Suitable for a certain job, right? Yes. Very my good. Ex my example is? Good. He is proficient. 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 What is the proficient? Proficient. To run the company. Very good. Amazing. Jennifer, proficient, guys. <laughs> what is proficient? Whenever proficient. Um, you are suitable for a kind of, for a job. Proficient. Okay. You really know how to do one thing, one job, one task. You are proficient. You are excellent in doing this. All right? Questions about this new word? Proficient, guys? No questions? Like a carpenter is a proficient. Mm, that is an occupation, but I can say okay. oh. that, for example, Daniel, you are... Um, you were like that. You're you were like that. Uh, you're a carpenter, but you have a lot of experience. You know. You're a proficient. Ah. Uh -huh, you are a proficient. All right. You have a lot of experience. You know how to do it. You do it excellent. You're proficient on that. All right. Very good. I got good. it. Daniel, could you please? I mean, Ezekiel, could you please share with us a vocabulary that you learned? With your classmates? That word I learned for, I learned with Daniel Archimedes. A bro. Which one? With Daniel Archimedes. Okay. The other, okay. The other Daniel. <laughs> uh, ah, they okay, okay. teach me, the, the other Daniel, they, uh, no, he teach me. He a taught bra. you? He taught you? Taught. The past of teach? Thought, uh huh. Thought, uh, I don't know. Uh, abroad. Abroad, perfect. Abroad. What is the meaning of abroad? Extranjero. In el ex <laughs> en, uh, abroad. <laughs> ah, the meaning, the meaning. Uh, uh -huh. The definition. Uh, oh. I, I don't prepare that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, when I go abroad to other, when I go to other country. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, uh, so yes. When you need to go out of your country and move to another country to study, to study abroad, for example. Uh -huh, exactly. If, uh, work abroad, for example. Maybe. Thank you. Good uh, job. So that's the word I, the word I learned. Great, I'm very wrong. good guys, wonderful. I like it, I like it, good job. Guys, that's what I wanted, okay? Que ustedes no, no dijeran una definición super rebuscada, sino que ustedes mismos la crearan, pero ustedes sepan cómo explicar una definición de una palabra, aunque ustedes lo traten Utilizando con sus propias palabras, lo digan por ustedes mismos, que ustedes sepan defender esa palabra. What is the meaning of the word? What is the definition? Que ustedes sepan expresarlo. Eso es lo que yo quería, ¿sí? No que se aprendieran en sí la definición, porque, bueno, a mí, mi parecer y en mi modo de aprendizaje, mi modo, porque todos tenemos un, un modo de aprendizaje, eh, una forma, ¿verdad?, eh, yo no, no, tal vez memorizando las definiciones no mucho, pero si yo me puedo que al menos saber qué es eso, aprenderme unas cuantas palabras para yo poderlo expresar qué significa, pero haciéndolo yo con mis mismas palabras, I can handle it, yo lo puedo manejar de esa manera, ¿sí? Entonces, that's what I like, very good guys, que ustedes lo hagan con sus propias palabras, que ustedes aprendan, ¿sí? You learn doing this okay so very good all right so uh daniel what is thank you ezekiel what is the word that you learn from your classmates mm. let me see <laughs> mm -hmm. the, the others say yeah that the words but in my case 
in my case, okay. I, I learned a spreadsheet because I never heard before. Which one, excuse uh, me, Daniel? It's spread, spreadsheet. Spreadsheet, all right, perfect. Yes, I never heard about that before. Uh -huh. But but the definition in the hours words is a is a program or is a is a window is a environment. It's a program, uh huh. It's a program where you can make uh, or solve the problem, mathematics problem. Good job. I, I know. Very I good. Know. Perfect, okay, Daniel. Wonderful. Good job. All right. Thank you for sharing that with us. All right. Uh, Daniel, could you please choose the last person who can help us with uh, giving us one definition? Is Kenny here? Kenny? Um, no, I believe uh, she's not here. Could you please choose another person? Sorry, sorry, okay. uh, but I don't know. Marcos Amilcar. Amilcar, okay, Marco. Uh, no, I believe he has uh, no words right now. Has no words right now. No, no examples. Oh, Marcos Amilcar. Yes, yeah, sorry, <laughs> Amilcar. Go for it. <laughs> ask me, ask me. <laughs> Asking Alexis <laughs> and Marcos Amilcar was like, Yes, teacher, I'm prepared. I know 10 <laughs> words already. I learned 10 words already. <laughs> Just ask me and I will give it to you all of them. <laughs> okay, uh, the uh, employment is, right. uh, is a known, a known it's a noun known. employment. All right, yes. uh, uh, the to the significant the meaning yeah. or the definition yes. uh, is uh -huh. is a is a noun to complete the verb um and give it a a meaning all right um, that is ah uh, sorry yeah. continue continue america sorry oh. my bad no it, it's all no <laughs> what is the meaning excuse me milka could you repeat the meaning? Meaning? Uh, uh -huh. The definition of, of employment. Employment. With your own words, what do you think that employment is? Uh, the employee. It, it comes it, from employee, uh -huh. to give, uh, I mean, it's related with employees. Employees. Yeah. Employees, okay. Employees, yes. Uh huh. What else can you say about this? Uh, the employee. It is no. <laughs> estoy perdidito un poquito. Oh, but you know what is employment, right? Sí, employment. Yes. Okay, perfect. So, guys, uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Amilcar. I know. I know it's difficult, guys, to go ahead and express yourself sometimes whenever we're talking about definitions, okay? Even if you ask me a definition of something, um, you, you're like hesitating, but you, you do it, right? Yo sé que es un poco difícil a veces cuando tiene que hablar de un tema o de una definición o de algo y usted lo tiene que hacer con sus propias palabras porque you feel like you lost the words, right? You lose the words, sorry. So I understand that feeling, guys. Don't worry. Pero ese es el propósito, ¿sí? Que ustedes empiecen a, 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 a improve to improve, all right? Empecemos a improvisar un poco, sí, a hablar un poco, yo sé que cuesta, pero do your best, try, try to do your best, guys, okay? Lo importante es que usted practique acá porque ese es el espacio, esas son las dos horas que usted tiene en el día para hacerlo, so let's practice, let's do it, all right? Y pues este ejercicio me gusta mucho, I like this exercise, pero take, it, take advantage of this, sí? Trate la manera de um, tomar ventaja de cada ejercicio, de cada tarea, 
de cada actividad práctica que tengan, porque de eso estamos aprendiendo. Por ejemplo, usted ya sabe que la definición se dice primero la palabra, el part of the speech, qué tipo de palabra es, es un nombre, es un uh, verbo, adjetivo, adverbio. Eso nos ayuda mucho, guys, identificar las palabras, ¿sí? Para no confundirnos. ¿Y cómo decir una definición? ¿Y cómo, dar, cómo ejemplificar ese nombre, ese... Eh, Palabra, por ejemplo. So, yes, you did it good, very good. But let's continue practicing, okay? I know you can, you can continue practicing and thank you very much, guys. Okay, so guys, we will continue then with the class. And uh, I believe I'm, I'm sharing the screen, right? We will go ahead and practice a conversation in the page 29, okay? Page 29, go to the page 29. Just let me get a second. Here we have page 29. Here we have a conversation, guys. Uh, this is a conversation, but before practicing the conversation, I want to ask you guys, what do you know about HR department or human resources department in your company? What do you know about human resources? Who works in human resources here? I, I remember Maggie told us yesterday, right? She works in human resources. Do you remember she said that? No. Maggie, Linda Magali, she said she works in human resources. But she's not here right now. So, guys, what is, uh, I mean, what do you know about human resources, about HR department? In your company, what do you know about this? It's the area based the employment. All right. Is there area the pays the the employment? Uh, the area. Is that the, true? It's the it's a uh, department that's going employees prepare employees prepare the it's employees. The Yes, this is the department that hiring employees. Uh, it prepare employees. Uh, I don't know only that. Okay, okay, great. But there is a financial department, and I don't know. It depends on your company, right? Sometimes there is a financial department, the ones that pay the employee, and there is a training department, the ones that prepare the employees for that training. But yes. it depends on the on the on the depends on the in, in my company in my company company <laughs> they select the first the people they select oh. the people and teach the people for the hearing in the future exactly uh, very good daniel thank you what about you guys what what uh in that case what do you what know the, about hr department but in your company because they might be having different roles. Some of them might be having more roles than other companies have. So what do you, what do you think about HR department, human resources department? And they make uh, in, an interviews. They make our, interviews? To employees and to a new employees. Okay, perfect. Good job. Let me go. And give you uh, guys one moment because I'm not I'm not sure what is going on with my computer right now. Um. Okay, now it's working. <laughs> the keyboard didn't work. So let me get a second. I, I, I'm gonna read. What do human resources? What do human resources? What does human resources do? What do human resources do? Sorry. What do human resources do? It says, uh -huh, as I said, como les dije, guys, cada compañía creo que tiene diferente, eh, el human resource de cada, de cada compañía tiene diferentes roles, I believe. Creo que en algunas compañías hay más departamentos como que se han dividido de human resources, ¿verdad? Uh, pero let me read to you this, let me read to you, sorry, this. Uh -huh definition about what is human resources. Uh, so what does the human resources department do? 
Most people are probably aware that they handle matters such recruitment, okay, reclutamiento de las personas, payroll, okay, payment, uh, salary, employment, uh, policies, and benefits, all right? They may also often act as a go-between for employees and managers. Mm -hmm. That is an important role about human employees, uh, about... <laughs> about human resources, sorry, that they are in the middle between your bosses and between the employees, right? If you have an issue with your boss, you go to human resources, right? So they are in the middle. So they are like, um, um, how do you say this word? Um, I don't remember in Spanish. But it's like, how do you say, like, aha, el go between, go between, what is the menu? Go between, mediador, intermedio, right? Go between, sorry. <laughs> go between is, guys, mediador o intermedio. Go between, all right? Go yeah. between, mediador o intermedio. So el go be, they are the go between your boss, I mean, your boss and you, okay? El employee y el boss, all right? Go between. Ahí tienen una nueva palabra. All right, go between. I can see the chat here. All right, but in English. <laughs> okay, let me continue reading, guys. So we know what is it. So, um, and human resources as well. Clarify basic company information. Says, aha, clarify and manage company information for information such as maternity leave and sick pay all right the sick pay is whenever you're sick okay you don't go to the work you don't go to job and but you get paid for that all right because you have a medical leave medical leave and you get you have a sick pay all right entonces usted está siendo pagado even though aunque usted está enfermo y también lo del maternity leave incapacidad de maternidad y todo eso entonces ellos ven todo eso all right eh, they handle that when does a company uh, need a dedicated human uh, sorry this is not ajá mire cuando usted puede when does a company need a dedicated human resources department person sorry o cuando usted necesite cuando la compañía necesita una persona de human resources eh, cuando usted quiera discutir uh, the employment law, ok, las, las, um, oh my God, leyes del, 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 del empleo que usted tiene, cuáles son las leyes que usted tiene, ok, qué es lo que, que usted, qué tiene derecho, cuáles son deberes, derechos, eh, cuando usted quiere discutir acerca de un, de un rice, por ejemplo, el rise es like a, a aumento de salario, o sea, rise salary, rise salary, cuando se quiere discutir acerca de un rise salary, o whenever you have an issue between your, your, your boss and you, ok, cuando usted tiene un problema y usted dice, no, voy a hablar con human resources, porque usted tiene un problemita y quiere aclararlo, so, that's pretty much how, what human resources do, guys, all right? So let's see what else I can tell you. Any anyone that wants to comment about human resources, algo más que quieran decir de acerca de human resources, guys? No other ideas? Uh, when they recruit, uh, I don't know how to say pasantía. Mm. Oh, they handle them? Do they handle this? I mean, ellos los um, ellos manejan eso lo es pasan, pasantía, right? Inter yes, it's like an yeah. internship. Uh, inter ah, yes, uh -huh. sorry, internship or trainee, trainee, trainees, traineeship. Traineeship. traineeship, it's like a traineeship, it's a traineeship, una pasandía es como una traineeship, 
una persona que está aprendiendo, pero es un, como que una oportunidad sobre es training, training sheep, training sheep. Aquí se lo mando. One second. Se lo voy a mandar en el chat. No sabía que ellos veían eso, sí, pero hoy me dicen, sí. Son los que ellos eh, manejan eso, right? I see a movie about, uh, about the, the eso. Este, oh, really? The, the traduction is, uh, in the movie, is the intern. Como... Oh, internship. Creo que los dos, in internship. In internship. Internship. Let me see the, the, the difference between this. Uh, yes, it's, it's better to say internship actually helps in uh, students to gain to gain experience. See, it's an internship. Ship, uh, uh, is is H E E T. I I N T E R N S H I P. Ahorita se lo mando en WhatsApp también. Thank you. Ahí se lo mandé, Innership, Innership. Yes, the last week, mm -hmm. HR gave me an internship in my work. Really? Okay. So, it's a headache. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Creo que acá tengo la, la inner um, traineeships. Let me see one second. Hay una diferencia, hay una diferencia, fíjense, porque yo lo, lo vi, lo conocí como traineeship, traineeship, pero también le dicen internship. I will look for that, ok, lo, lo voy a buscar la diferencia, hay una diferencia y se pueden ocupar los dos, pero quiero saber cuál es la diferencia, yo le voy a compartir se puede internship o traineeship pero hay una diferencia uh, let's see uh, ok, miren guys, yo realmente de esto de, de las pasandías, no sabía que había dos tipos de pasandía, pero re, de acuerdo a lo que estamos hablando con uh, Ezekiel, hay dos palabras que significan pasandía, pasantía, sorry, en, en inglés, en inglés as well, sorry. Dice, uh, doing an internship involves working towards gaining a certification that will help you as you as your career develops. Dice que la internship nos ayuda a ganar una certificación que nos ayuda a crecer en, nuestro, en nuestra carrera o desarrollarnos en, una, en, la, una, en la carrera. Some internships are paid. Algunas internships son pagadas, dice algunas pasantías. Mientras que otras no son pagadas. Ahora, a traineeship, on the other hand, is an official training program. O sea, es un, es un programa de capacitación oficial ofrecida por el que lo contrata a usted para entrenarlo como un nuevo staff para un uh, rol en específico, specific role. No sé si you got the, the difference, guys. Sí. Yes, la main uh, in one of these internships, mm -hmm. uh, I am an actual employee. So mm -hmm. the internship is for uh, change the position, position, the or oh, something like that. I believe that the traineeship es para tener la posición, ¿verdad? Y la internship oh, yes. es para tener nada más un certificado, ¿right? If I am not mistaken, yes, yes. guys, ¿todos de acuerdo con esto? I'm learning with you as well. Es como, ok, la internship 
CAES es cuando usted quiere nada más un certificado que le va a ayudar en su carrera. Esa es la pasantía. Mientras que la eh, traineeship, usted está eh, trabajando, ¿verdad? Para ya quedarse en la posición, pero está como en entrenamiento a la misma vez. Es una pasantía donde usted va a tener ese puesto. ¿Sí? Ahí les mandé el significado y la diferencia. ¿Right? Yes. Questions about these guys? No questions? No? Questions about human resources? Is that a little bit clear? Yes? Thank you for participating, Ezekiel. Thank you, guys. Okay, so guys, Mr. Chang is looking for two employees at ours. C company. This is the name of the company, RC company. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with your partner. Okay? Luego lo vamos a practicar todos acá. So, uh, we have the conversation between Mr. Chan and Dorian. All right, Dorian. All right. Let's listen to the conversation. Excuse me, I am looking for Mrs. Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she is the recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recurring administrative support for the team of recru recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Okay. So uh, here it, they are talking about the responsibilities that they have at work. All right, the positions that they have. We have a recruitment coordinator who is Mrs. Uh, Ms. Sorry, Ms. Chavez. All right. Then we have, uh, let's see, Mr. Salgado, Mateo Salgado, who is the talent management consultant. All right. Two positions, two different responsibilities. All right. So let's see. I want to listen to you practicing this conversation. Marielos, Jaime, are you a listener or no? No more. Listener or no? Teacher, I'm, I'm okay, thank you. Jaime, could you please help me to be Mr. Chan and Marielos will be Dorian? Let's practice. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who is who, who, she, is? who she is? Sure, she is the the, the grouping. Recruitment? Recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically? Basically, she provides recruiting. Recruiting? Recruiting. Administrative. Administrative support. Support. support administrative support for the team of recruiting recruiters recruiters I understand and and does Miss Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent manage management. Consultant. Consultant. Mm -hmm. Consultant. Where, where can I reach me? Reach him? He re returns at one o'clock. Very good. Good job. Perfect. Okay, let's see. I want to listen Julio Cesar Merino. Julio César Merino, are you here? Julio César and Jessica del Carmen. Jessica, are you there? Yes. Julio César Merino. 
Yes, teacher. All right. Um, can you be... I am Mr. Chan. Yes. And then okay. Jessica Dorian, okay? Let's okay. practice, guys. Thank okay. you. Okay. Excuse me. I am looking for Mr. Chavez. Can you tell, tell me who she is? Sure. She is the recruitment coordinator. Um, I see and cool. Uh, you tell me uh, about, about her responsibility. Responsibility. Sorry, her oh. responsibilities? Responsibilities. Como? Responsibilities. Responsibilities. There you go. Mm -hmm. Base, basically, no. Basically? Yes. Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And that's Mr. Salgado over here. Uh, what does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consult consultant. Where can um, reach me? Reach him? Reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Finishes. Very good, guys. Very good. So let's repeat after me. Um, her responsibilities. Repeat again. Res responsibility. 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 Her responsibilities. Her responsibilities. Very good. Responsibilities. Very good. All right. Good job. Uh, okay, let's see. Ángel Estefanía and Julio César Ramírez. Ángel Estefanía, uh, you are Dorian and Julio César, Mr. Chan. Excuse me, I am looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she is recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibility? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team or recruiter. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado we're here. What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent manage, management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returned at one o'clock. Very good. All right. So it's management. Repeat after me. Management. 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 Very good. Great. Let's repeat after me, everyone, guys. Uh, recruit, recruitment. 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 Coordinator. Coordinator. Um, let's see. Responsibilities. 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 Mm -hmm. Esa palabra no es como responsibilities ni tampoco responsibilities, sino que es como el schwa. El schwa es donde no se hace la mayor fuerza de voz y se pronuncia así, despacio, sin mucha fuerza de voz. Entonces, respons, respons, responsibilities, right? Responsibilities. Responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Responsibilities. Responsibilities. Uh, Basically. 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 Recuring. 
Recruitment. Recruiting. Administrative. Administrative. Recruiters. Recruiters. Recruitment. Recruiting. Recruiters. Management consultant. Management consultant. Angel Estefania, Jessica, please repeat after us. Jennifer. Marina, everyone, let's repeat, guys. Marielos, all right. Rich him, 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 all right. Cuando usted une los sonidos, guys, usted lo dice, where can I reach him? Let's repeat after me. Where can I reach him? Where can I reach him? Very good. Let's repeat after me some phrases, okay? Let's see. Um, can you tell me who she is? Can you tell me who she is? Can you tell me who she is? She is a recruitment coordinator. She provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. She provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, ¿es recruiter o recruiters? Re, con re, re o re. Recruiters. Re, recruiters. Recruiters. Re, re, re. Mm -hmm. re. Exactly. okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. All right, next. Um, he, is a ta he is the talent management consultant. He is a talent management consultant. Wait, where can I reach him? Where can, where can I reach him? Where can I reach him? Fíjese que esa palabra, guys, cuando ustedes unen los sonidos, no hacen mucha referencia a la H. Uh -huh. Que está acá. Entonces usted puede decir, where can I reach him? Repeat after me. Where can I reach him? Where can I reach him? Porque tenemos dos H. Entonces por eso tenemos la oportunidad de decir reach him. Where can I reach him? Where can I reach him? Good job. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. He returns at one o'clock. Very good, guys. Okay, questions about new words or questions about book? Sorry, pronunciation? No question? Sorry, I, I cannot hear you. Basically or basically? Basically, basically. Basically. Okay, guys, so who is Ms. Ms. Chavez? Who is Ms. Ms. Chavez? He is a talent management consultant. No. She is the recruitment coordinator. She is the recruitment coordinator. Recruitment coordinator. Very good, coordinator. What do you think Mr. Chan does? What does he do, Mr. Chan? Uh huh. It's Who is Mr. Employee. Chan? He's an employer. He's an employee. Okay. What is the responsibility or who? What is the department in which he works? Who is Mr. Chan, guys? Dorian is asking Mr. Chan about all of this. So, who is Mr. Chan here? 
Uh, he he is a human resort. He is a human resource uh, person. Maybe. Very good. Good job. All right, very good, guys. So go to the page 30, please. Go to the page 30. And in the page 30, let's read the information on the HR personnel, all right? Then answer the questions below. We have some information about the HR personnel here, okay? We have a recruit, recruitment coordinator, we have a benefit specialist. Then we have a talent management consultant. We have a human resources generalist. All right. We have four positions here. And we have, uh, guys, the information on the HR personnel. All right. So basically, this is a description of the responsibilities of the recruitment coordinator. Uh, for example, the recruitment coordinator is a has a bachelor's degree, organizes the schedules of candidates' interviews, open and post requ requ requirements. Creo que es, no es requisito, sino opens and post requis requis requisitions. Mm, no, I'm not sure about these requisitions. Is that I'm. Oh, yes, requisiciones. I didn't know about this. What is requisiciones, guys? Como solicitudes, no? ¿Qué es una requisición? Teacher, Sorry, my bad. I don't know. In, in the office is the, is the huh? document for a, a compras uh, uh, or, or solicitudes. In my case, when when our office needs a paper, a pencil, um, whatever the documents for mm -hmm. work, uh, we need to do a requirement for the los requisitos. Uh, requisition, requisition, no requisition. Ah, pero que ah, esa es lo mismo requisición. Yes. Sorry, but believe it or not, I don't know what is a re requisition, guys. Requisition. De verdad, ahí se les quedó super mal, por eso es que me quedé como requisición. Teacher, en, en, la, en mi oficina es para comprar algo, que dicen ya pasaste la requisición. Ah, miren, qué interesante. In uh, purchasing department. Recuento, yes. dice recuento y embargo de caballos, alimentos para el servicio militar, requisición. Creo que no es la, uh, el, el ejemplo it's... que necesitamos. Oh, miren, acá está. Es, sorry que le sale en español, pero I don't know what is requisición en Spanish, so I won't be able to explain it to you in English, right? Requisición es la solicitud de compra de productos para un departamento y la cual se requiere al departamento de compras, por ejemplo, materia prima para producir, productos para vender o consumo interno o para consumo interno. So, la solicitud de compra, esa es una requisición. Oh, all right. I didn't know. Now I know what is a requisi requisition. Requisition. Re, um, one second. Let me just make sure about the... It's requisition, actually. All right. Requisition. Re requisition, not requisition. Requisitions. Let's repeat after me, guys. Requisitions. 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 So now we know that the recruitment coordinator opens and posts requisitions. Eso es lo que hace un recruitment coordinator. Todavía estoy dudando. No, no, teacher, no. Is your point two? No, guys, de verdad, todavía estoy como dudando tal vez de la palabra que han puesto. No sé si, ajá. Yo creo que esas requisiciones son ofertas de publicar las ofertas de empleo. Como los requisitos. Es que no, no yes. es que no sé. So yo creo, no, sorry que de verdad yo creo que tal vez se han de haber equivocado en las palabras que en vez de requisitions quizás son requirements. 
opens and post requirements. No sé, porque no, no, I'm not sure, no sé si el requirement coordinator, recruitment, sorry, recruitment es el que recluta, right? A las personas, ¿no? El coordinador eh, de reclutamiento. Eh, more or less, um, is, 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 for me, is, is, is point number two. Ajá, pero estoy como un poco confundida uh, y no uh, sé si uh, quisieron this, decir uh, eso o de verdad se ese trabajo él. Es point de tarea, es de tarea, es, es un punto de tarea, ahí están las tareas. Pero saben que I, I was looking, estaba buscando de requisition si tenía otro significado, otro sinónimo, y me aparece que como que sí hay otro sinónimo de requisition, si es como solicitudes. Entonces acá se, es, es como eh, abre, es como que abre y publica solicitudes, algo así. ¿Sí? Fíjense, por eso I like uh, translation. Ok, me gusta mucho esto de, 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 de traducir, guys, porque de verdad es que uno tiene que tener conocimiento de la palabra, que, que, a qué que quiere el... el um, Not the reader, no, the, the, the writer, ok, el escritor que quiere dar a entender. So, it's a lot of things, all right? So, son las descripciones de cada tipo de responsabilidad acá, de, de la posición, all right? No sé si you already noticed that here we have the description of what the person is, I mean, what the person does or who is the person, ok? So, let's read the four charts. Vamos a leer los cuatro cuadritos in which they are describing what do they do. What is the activities that they do? What are the descriptions about those positions? And then, guys, let's answer the question made by the external auditor. Digamos que Julio and Mabel, they are working and están trabajando leyendo esto. Luego ustedes van a suponer que un auditor externo llega a donde ustedes están y les hace estas preguntas. Right? Después de haber leído esto, el, el, este auditor va a llegar donde ustedes y les va a decir, ok, what does the requirement coordinator do? Y ustedes se van para recruitment coordinator. Oh, the recruitment coordinator coordinates internal and internet job, internet job postings. He works with the supports are uh, uh, he works with and supports a recurring team, etc. All right. And then the external coordinator auditor, sorry, will continue asking you question. What is the recruitment coordinator's experience? When does the recruitment coordinator work? Okay. So ustedes van a tratar de estar preparados para esta respuesta, para brindar estas respuestas. Okay? A esas preguntas. Yes? Questions about the activity, guys? Le voy a mandar una captura, all right? Questions, guys, or no questions? No questions? Sure, guys? So I don't what know. we're going to be doing? No? No questions? Todo claro, como el water, como water? I mean, this is the rec requisites to this. No, esas son las descripciones de cada eh, posición. Del eh, esas son las posiciones de trabajo que hay. Recruitment coordinator, benefit specialist. Esas son como las posiciones que las personas tienen en la empresa que se llama eh, RC, I believe, RC Company. Entonces, usted, si va, usted va a leer esa información porque el auditor externo va a llegar a hacerle las preguntas que ya les mandé ahorita en WhatsApp. ¿Sí? So let's read with your partner in the break room and be ready to answer those questions. Yes? What we will do is a reading and comprehension. Vamos a hacer un reading and comprehension. We will read, okay? And then once you finish reading, practice with your partner the questions. Para estar, para estar listos de lo que le van a responder al auditor. ¿Sí? 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 
Yes. Ok. Yes. Supongan, yes. Guys, supongan que ustedes están en el trabajo y que su jefe les dice, Mabel, Jaime, ustedes que saben inglés, quiero decirles que va a venir un auditor externo a la compañía. Y como ustedes son de recursos humanos, les va a ir preguntando qué tareas o quiénes hacen estos cuatro tipos de trabajo, que es el Human Resource Generalist, Talent Management Consultant, Recruitment Coordinator, and Benefit Specialist. Entonces, su misión es, aquí les doy esta página, léanmela y vean cuál es la descripción, qué es lo que hacen ellos, por si él les pregunta algo de ellos. Porque esto va a ser en inglés, Jaime, eh, Jaime y Mabel. So, be ready to answer this. Estén listos para okay, responder sí, eso sí. en inglés. ¿Sí? ¿Me entienden? Esa es como la tarea que van a tener. Pero eso va a ser para cada, para cada pareja. Supongan que su jefe les dé esta misión. ¿Sí? All right. Let me open the breakout rooms. Los voy a, a, a ordenar de nuevo porque creo que están en grupos todos, guys. Sorry. Luis Ernesto is, um, ok, Julio, voy a mover entonces acá a, lo voy a ir moviendo, guys, click on join, ok, lo voy a ir moviendo de nuevo. Julio Click on join, guys. Lice todavía es un listener, creo que sí, right? Deme un segundo. Um... Click on join, guys. Mabel, do you have inconveniences joining the, the team? Uh, your breaker branch? I don't know because I click on join and join and I La voy can't. a mover de nuevo. Oh. Let, let me, let me okay. join it to you again. Okay, okay, click on join, please. Generalists. Hello, hello. Okay, um, sorry to interrupt you guys. <laughs> Acá so, tenemos eh, cuántos listeners. Lise todavía está de listener y Cristian. No. I'm, I'm a little bit confused. Ah, ok. Thank you. Lise la voy a mover entonces para con Marielos. All right. Thank you. It's, it okay. is because I didn't know you, you was participating already. Sorry, Daniel, and sorry, Jennifer. I will go Don't out. Worry. <laughs> Okay. Okay, Daniel. Yeah. Continue your. Uh, uh, Coordinator. Hello, Victor. What does the recruitment coordinator do? Uh, teacher, teacher. So, hello. Yeah, did you uh, finish reading? ¿Ya finalizaron la lectura? Ah, it's a reading. <laughs> yes, I don't it's understand. A it's a reading. Léanlo y después hacen las preguntas. Ok. Pretendan que hice el auditor con ustedes haciendo las preguntas. 
But in English, e, right? Yes, yes, este, it's the number of the page is. Este quién? I lose, I lose my mind. I believe it's page 30. Uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Yes, it's page 30. Page 30. Mm -hmm. 30. Mm -hmm. Questions? No questions? Screening and the question of the uh -huh. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. So what is the quality recruiting coordinator experience? Their evening coordinator experience has uh, five years of experience. Bachelor's degree. Teacher. Oh, hello. How do you pronounce bachelor's? Bachelor. I see. Mm -hmm. Bachelor. Bachelor's, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. bachelor's yeah. degree organizes schedules of candidate interviews, open and post requisition, uh, requisition, a coordinate internal and internet job posting, Mm. has a degree in management <laughs> work with and sports uh, recruiting team <laughs> has a year of experience. experience works on with they work part time works part time Okay. But if I have to answer this question, what does the recruitment coordinator do? It's not all or it's all. Julio, Cesar, are you there? Hello, hello, Julio, Cesar. Creo que no está con nosotros, right? Oh, oh. Hi, teacher. Hello, ¿todo, todo bien? Sí, teacher. Ah, ok. Me escuchando. <laughs> Let's go ahead and practice with Mabel. No me la deje solita. <laughs> Estaba tratando de entender y le digo yo, eh, ah. espérame, es que lo que vamos a hacer es esto, ah, leemos okay, la pregunta sorry. y contestamos lo que hago. Y entonces, si quieren léanlo, pero escuchando. aunque ahorita ya es un poco más, un poco tardecito, creo que vamos a continuar mañana, pero leer básicamente la lectura y luego responder, ¿verdad? Las, las, pre las preguntas. Uh -huh. Pero si quieren ahorita Bye. léanlo para entenderlo. Y luego se pasan a hacer las okay. preguntitas. ¿Mm? Ok, thank you. You're welcome.
Hello, hello. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, we will wait for the other ones to join. Hi guys, I believe everyone is here, right? Okay guys, thank you very much for uh, practicing, for joining to the class. Uh, time is over, we will continue tomorrow with the reading, okay? Let's continue tomorrow with the reading and with this uh, interview with the external auditor. Mañana vamos a seguir con el reading, no se preocupen. It's time to go to rest. It's time to sleep. All right. Time to eat. Time to time to go to with your, I mean, to spend time with your family if it is still time. All right. So, guys, thank you for joining. Thank you for your participation, for your support, and for your effort. See you tomorrow. Uh, el día de ahora, no sé si se puede quedar en el 101 Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Is that okay for you, Marcos? Marquitos? Yes? Okay. Thank you. And voy a pasar la lista ahorita. Una vez lo mencione, you can go out, okay? Thank you, guys. Have a wonderful night, okay? See you tomorrow. Thank you. Take care. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Present teacher. Bye bye. Lisset del Carmen Hernández Miss Smith. Present teacher. Bye bye, Lisset. Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Bye bye, Cristian. Sabrina Lisset García Orellana. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present teacher. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Take care. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Take care. Present teacher, good night. Bye bye, good night. Marina Vanessa Vasquez Romero. Present teacher, bye. Bye bye. Osvin Alexis Flores Hernandez. Present. Bye bye, good Osvin. Night. Take care, good night. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortez. Present, good night. Good night. Estela Mabel Orellana del CID. Present teacher, good night. Bye bye, take care. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Thank you, Marcos. Marina Vanessa, Ma uh, sorry, Marielos Janet Cornejo Razo. Present teacher. Bye bye. Good night. Um, Jennifer Noemi Mata Aragón. Present teacher. Good night. Bye bye. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Bye bye. Jonathan Alexi González Torres. Present teacher, goodbye. Goodbye, Jonathan. Uh, Julio Cesar Merino González. Present teacher. Bye bye, take care. Julio Cesar Ramirez Arevalo. Present teacher. Bye bye, Julio. Kenny Lisset Cuellar de Barrientos. Present teacher. Thank Good you, night. Kenny. Good night. Linda Magali García Montoya. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Bye bye. Marcos Amilcar Mancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Have a good bye -bye. night. Have a good night. See you. Okay, let's see. Uh, hello, Marcos. How are you today? My day is very tired, teacher. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm tired as well. And it's Tuesday, right? But I'm tired. I know, yes. I know about this. So have you, you have been uh, dealing with transportation issues lately, right? Whenever you come back to home, I mean, to your home, you have been uh, dealing with transportation issues or traffic? Uh, yes. Yes, uh, right? Yes, uh, I go out to, I go out. Late. 
You go. Uh, um, oh, you're go. You're you're uh leaving work late. Mm. Yes. Uh, it's uh, six p.m. Mm -hmm. um, the traffic in Metro mm -hmm. Centro, Los Proceres, eh, Monseñor yes. Romero, La Is Delicia. Yeah, um, bajar is, is down. Going down? Going, going down. Mm -hmm. Going down the street of Chorros is horrible. Mm -hmm. I arrive in my arrive in my home uh, very 8 late PM. 8 p.m. and I I try eat a few or oh. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry to hear that Marcos sabía que algo así estaba pasando so I'm sorry to hear that um, and you don't have mobile data on your phone? No tiene datos en esos momentos para que al menos se conecte un, una, me, una hora antes y no pierda muchos minutos? Eh, no, teacher. I, I am poor. Está difícil, <laughs> perdón. Sí, no, sí, teacher. a veces una clase en Zoom le consume todos los datos a uno. Sí, y, y la carga, la carga también se, se me va muy rápido. La carga también. No, no, no me soportaría venir conectado de ella hasta acá. No, no, no me aguanta. Bueno, es, quiero... pero gracias, gracias Marcos, porque, perdón que lo interrumpa, eh, porque eso es muy importante para mí saberlo. Fíjese, porque en, el, en los comentarios yo pongo si el estudiante está teniendo cualquier situación, porque usted sabe que la asistencia es muy importante, ¿verdad? Y pues al yeah. final no hay como permisos ni nada, pero eh, es, more, es importante tener esa información de ustedes porque que para, que, para las auditorías, para el siguiente curso, por la asistencia. Entonces yo lo voy a tener en cuenta y lo voy a poner, créame, en sus comentarios que usted ha estado teniendo problemas de, de, de transporte, con su trabajo está saliendo un poco tarde. Entonces para que... Al menos ellos sepan que usted no se está conectando porque no quiera, sino que porque se tiene un inconveniente. ¿no? Sí, y, le, y yo le quería preguntar algo. Dicen que ya enviaron el formulario para el siguiente módulo. No oh, sé, okay. este, Dice que no de... tengo mayor detalle de eso, Marco. La, perdóneme ahí, pero no, porque como no, no sé mucho de lo administrativo, eh, uh -huh pero no le ha llegado a usar el formulario. No, y al WhatsApp siempre me, me, me lo envían. Me o, o me lo mandan a mi correo electrónico. Pero ¿Y quién le dijo? Uno de sus compañeros. Ajá, uno de los compañeros que se supone que ya enviaron el, el formulario para la siguiente inscripción. Es un poco antes, right Pero puede preguntar a, un, a Giselle, tal vez, a quien la contacta siempre preguntar a ver si ya los sí, están porque, enviando sí sí porque porque quizás yo siento que me ha afectado mucho la, la inasistencia en las primeras medias sí, horas sí entonces la es que este, sí. siento que quizás ya el otro módulo <risa> no pero comente si usted tiene la oportunidad Marcos de hablar con alguno de ellos comente esa situación también es muy importante uh -huh. que ellos lo sepan y que no den opciones, ¿verdad? Eh, entonces, uh -huh. comente eso y pregunte de ese formulario, ¿sí? Y sí, si no le llega tal vez para la otra semana, bueno, en esta semana, déjeme saber y yo voy a preguntar. Pero pregunte usted también, hoy. Ajá, voy a preguntar porque sí, este, yo quiero continuar el próximo módulo, pero siento de que tal vez eso me... me me ha bajado el ranking de asistencia. No, pero vamos Entonces, a poner ese comentario ahí para que, para que ellos sepan eso y si usted puede también pregunte, dígales, ajá. comuníquese con ellos porque ellos no saben, ¿verdad? Los inconvenientes que pueda tener usted. Entonces comuníquese ah, okay. con ellos, pregúntele y dígale, yo quiero continuar, pero si eso me está pasando, siempre he tenido buena asistencia y pues este... Este módulo me está yendo un poco mal, pero yo estoy viendo las clases. 
¿verdad? Porque lo estamos Ajá. haciendo, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, sí, claro. estamos haciendo las actividades, entonces todo eso, coméntelo. Porque sí he ah, visto okay. casos donde ellos sí, eso consideran todo eso, ¿sí? Porque hay muchas emergencias, muchos casos que a veces pasan y no están a manos de uno, ¿verdad? Sí, claro. Que eso sí, porque... le quería preguntar también porque usted no me lo había dicho, Marco. No, teacher, no, no. Solamente sí si sé que, que a veces me dice, teacher, voy en el tráfico, entonces yo me imagino eso, ¿verdad? Que por eso es. Y también que a veces sí si se me distrae un poquito, me imagino que es por eso también. Entonces, yo lo entiendo, Marcos, pero cualquier cosa, usted está más que, más que eh, bienvenido en preguntarme, ¿ok? Si quiere volver a re que repita, yo repito de nuevo, ¿ok? okay lo veo... Teacher. Lo veo, fíjese, que ha progresado bastante, pero cada vez que se me distrae, eh, vuelve, a, vuelve atrás un, un rato, un paso atrás. Ajá. Entonces tratemos de que, ok, el tiempo que esté aquí, al menos estar un poquito más enfocado, aunque sea una hora, una hora y media, un poco más enfocado. Y teacher, mire, yo me conecté tarde, he venido el tráfico, puede nada más hacerme un... un review. Un review rapidito ah. de lo que ha visto o algo, dígame usted, yo, yo ahí con gusto, ¿sí? Ah, okay. Porque puede okay. ser que a veces yo no me fije, que, que se esté conectando muy, muy, muy tarde y no me dé cuenta, entonces siempre eh, recuérdeme, comuníquese conmigo, es muy importante y hasta el momento no sé si tiene como una, una duda de alguna, algún tema, algo que quiera practicar, que quiera que le explique. Pues, de, de todo, ticha, todo. De verdad, vaya, dígame lo más importante. Y algo que me he fijado también, y algo que le voy a dejar de tarea, Marcos, es que tratemos de buscar, le voy a buscar un video de eso, que se llama Part of the Speech, Part of the Speech, porque en eso se me está confundiendo un poco en las partes del lenguaje, ¿sí?, Acuérdese que tenemos diferentes partes del lenguaje. Tenemos nombres, tenemos Ajá, eso, eh, verbos, adjetivos, adverbios. Entonces yo le voy a buscar aquí. Y fíjese que eso sí. tiene mucho que ver también, Marcos, con el vocabulario. Entonces tratemos de, de incrementar más también el vocabulario. Pero denme un segundo que estoy buscándole una. ¿Qué le okay. puede ayudar? Denme un segundo. Sí, eso, eso me está costando diferenciar, teacher. Sí, o yo sea, sé. El, el verbo, el pronombre, a ver, la moza. El sustantivo, el no sé qué otra cosa. Deme un segundo. Pero mañana voy a escribirle al, 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 al administrador. Mañana ah, escriba, sí. sí vale, porque... Marco, este, este video que le voy a mandar es un poco largo, pero a mí me gusta mucho cómo lo explican ellos porque es muy... Eh, completo, entonces trate de ver ese videito de los part of the speech, si tiene preguntas me las hace y además de ese tema ¿tiene algún otro problema con uno que usted diga, no, es que este tema de verdad necesito que una explicación porque si sigo así no le voy a entender a otro, o sea, algo que usted crea que está crítico, que usted no, no le vaya entendiendo por ejemplo el que vimos ayer, el de third person de, de spelling rule no, pero creo que ese se parece bastante a ese paro de speech. Está acusando ah, porque, okay. por lo mismo. Pero lo que tiene que hacer Marcos es usted leerse las reglas, ¿sí? Ahí se las he pasado las reglas. Lea las reglas, pero primero ve ese, ese video de paro of the speech. Y eso le va a ayudar a usted después, a, incluso en este tema. Se la voy a okay. reenviar ahorita para que las lea. Okay, Pero ahí okay. yo creo, Marco, yo sé, créame que es bien difícil para usted, creo que al, para algunos también que, que trabajan, ¿verdad? Eso, el hecho de tener un tiempo y poder repasar. Yo sé que sí es muy difícil, uno quisiera ya irse a dormir porque se levanta temprano, entonces tal vez busque un tiempo por ahí para usted poder practicar un poquito más. Sí, un, un esfuercito que tal vez cuando venga en el bus usted puede ir practicando un poco más. Me imagino yo, Marcos. Creo que se trabó un poco el video, right? Mm. 
Marcos, ya no le escuché, Marcos. Hello, hello, Marcos. 